in Asaksa today. Um, we are on our way at the moment to Sensoji Temple, but there's a bunch of really cool things to do in Asaksa. So we'll show you kind of what we find. So it's a bad one again, but we'll get so rid of it. So we're gonna fold it up and leave it here. And then the fortune won't follow us. It's drawn our bad fortune is tied into the rack. Sensoji is actually Tokyo's oldest Buddhist temple. It was built in the year 645, which is absolutely incredible that it's that old. I mean, I say it was built, most of these buildings have been reconstructed over the years. Um, especially because of like earthquakes and some were destroyed in the war. Um, so not all of the buildings are as old as that, but this So we're here at Sensoji Temple. We've just drawn our bad fortune is tied into the rack. Sensoji is actually Tokyo's oldest Buddhist temple. It was built in the year 645, which is absolutely incredible that it's that old. I mean, I say it was built, most of these buildings have been reconstructed over the years, um, especially because of like earthquakes and some were destroyed in the war. Um, so not all of the buildings are as old as that, but this temple was finished in 645 for like the first time, that's when it was built. Um, it's also right next to a Shinto shrine. We've got this five-story pagoda right next to us. Um, in Japan, Buddhism and like Shinto, they, they sit very closely with each other. There's no real like conflicts there. So it's not uncommon to see a Buddhist temple and a Shinto shrine right next to each other. Um, so that's also super old, so they've both been here for a really long time, they're really prevalent, they're really prominent, um, and it, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful here. It is busy, it's not surprising that it's busy because there's a lot of, you know, it, it's really famous, it's a famous shrine, it's a famous, famous temple. We've also got out of one of the gates, which I think is behind us, I think this gate here, we've got like a shopping street, and it's actually, yeah, it's actually, centuries old itself so there's you know there's a lot of history right here i would come there's a lot of people actually wearing like kimonos and stuff just like there was in kyoto where you can do like a rental kimono so that might be quite a fun thing to do um but yeah it's nice I would definitely go. if you look over emily's massive head 
we've got the second largest construction in the world. Yeah, uh, so that Tokyo is Sky the Tree. Tokyo Sky Tree right there. hungry so spent whole 500 yen on this monstrosity hold it up no hold it up like lift it up i don't think i can okay ah how big do you reckon that is like a foot longer than a foot it feels like that nearly two foot no way it's like a foot good so it's just frank firm. Oh, that custard is spicy. What have we got now? So now I've got some big old sticks of fried chicken. Mmm, mmm. Really, really tender. Really, yeah. like normal like barbecue. Yeah. Mm. Salad crunchy. Mmm. What you got? So I've got an orange. For the straw in it was 500 yen it's a total con mm. so what he did is he got the orange out of the cooler he drilled a hole in it and he poured orange juice in it from a cart it was from like a squeezing it tastes really good though it wasn't like the place we were in in new york where they literally drilled them all out in front of you and filled it with his juices good I think there's only a few sips in here. Oh. What have you got? I have some like pastry in the shape of a fish oh. with hopefully custard inside. We asked for custard and he gave us one that he just made. So it looks like it's covered in some sort of like syrup or like glaze on that side. It's custard. I haven't got that yet. Mm. Pastry's really good. Mmm. Nom nom nom. Mmm. Mmm. You good? That's is so good. It is hot. It is hot. It is really tasty. It would have been nice if we got warm that it was really hot. Sorry. It was boiling. Custard. I love custard. You never know what you're gonna get from like a chocolate flavor. You know from a custard flavor. Uh, uh, the Japanese know how to do custard. Yeah. We just stopped into a really cool little bar. Um, I can't remember what it was called. It was called Cafe Res Homebound. It was. Cafe, it was like Cafe Restaurant Homebound. So, <laughs> just said in a really bad sure, sure. Japanese accent. Like. Cafe Res Homebound. <laughs> That's what it would be, okay, I reckon. Sure. Um, yeah, it was really nice. It was quite dark in there, um, but it was a nice place to sort of put our feet up. I like a really cool bar, like very like unique, um, lots of like bits and bobs around, including two dogs um, that were really friendly, really nice. So you know, yeah, I like a dog. I like petting dogs. So that was that was fun. Yeah, it was a really nice bar. Definitely one of those ones where like, so they had on the wall money pinned up from all over the world with like notes on. So I think it's like a hidden gem. 
Yeah, definitely. One of those like, ones where, like, like, like travellers looking off the beaten path would want to go to this. Yeah, definitely try and check it out. A nice relaxing, not busy and actually has chairs place. Yeah. So we're currently on Hockey Street. We didn't even realise we were walking down it, but this is just a street full of full of Izakayas as far as the eye can see. They're That's all, really cool. They're all full as well, like there's barely a spare seat anywhere, so it's pretty cool. Moku Hankan, which is like a woodblock printing store here. Really, really nice. There's loads of different like woodblock print um, pictures here. You know, ranging from all sorts of different prices. It's a little bit pricey um, if, you, if it's not something that you're super into. But if you are interested in getting some woodblock prints, it's really, really nice. I think you could get um, like legitimate 150 year old prints from between like, 40 pounds and 100 pounds. Yeah. About that. So, you know, definitely for something you really want, uh, it's definitely worth, your way, uh, worth going out your way to get it. Yeah. So, got? I've got some dango. 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 Uh, so, they're sweet dumplings um, made from like rice flour and they've got like a sweet soy glaze on them. Mm. Don't go too close. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Well, I. They taste like sweet soy sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I describe the texture. Somewhere between mochi and mashed potato. <laughs> mochi potato? Having a bit of mochi potato there. Really good though. Definitely recommend. Hey, so we made our trip, our first trip, and only trip to McDonald's. Um, we got some local delights. Terrier chicken and beef thing. Yeah, it was like it looked like a double beef patty, but one of them looked a bit different. Oh, what is it? Is it sauce? It's like a beef liquid. <laughs> and we got grape Fanta. Oh yeah, chicken is full of liquid. Yeah. It's decent. It's a better, better than normal chicken sandwich with loads of extra flavour. the hotel in Shinjuku. We had I had a really good day in Asakusa. Yeah. I think that it was a really nice place to go. It is it is touristy, it definitely is. Um, there's loads of like little souvenir shops that probably are a little bit overpriced. There's loads of street foods. So if you're into street food definitely go but yeah some of them are a little bit of a trap like that orange that I had <laughs> definitely you know don't get one of those. But um, the dango for like 120 yen. Yeah. Well worth That it. was really good. Massive sausage. Yeah. I yeah. guess it just like depends where you go. Um, but we didn't end up going on the Sky Tree today. It's quite expensive. Um, I think it's like 2,000 yen per person. There's often a really big queue for tickets um, and it's a Saturday, so it probably isn't the best day to go. Um, so we're probably just going to try and go to the government building at some point because that's got a viewing platform that's free and we're cheap cheap so that's what we're gonna do um but no i definitely would recommend going to asakusa i think it's a really really good day and i really enjoyed it we are we've come back to the hotel to just recharge a little bit we've also got some sweeties so we just picked up some sweets from the lawson's downstairs so you have this kit kat it's like a chocolate like dark chocolate mint kit kat 
we've got some gummy sours. It looks like they're all sorts of different colors. Oh no, there's like three different flavors. So there's strawberry, Four. apple. Grape and peach. Ah, oh, I didn't even see the peach and the grape. And then these like melon sweets as well that Adam chose. I chose. Yeah, do you want to open them up? Let's have the horrible ones first. Horrible ones? I don't like sour sweets. What shape do you want? Do you want a star, a triangle, a globo? A star, I want a star. A star? A star is that flavor. I think a star is strawberry. Oh, they all just vary. It's the least sour sweet. That's not sour. I think I've ever had in my life. Apples were nice. Like I... tang plastics are more sour. And if you like sour sweets, you know that tang plastics are not sour. These are basically when you have sugared like jelly sweets. Mm. They're sugars, not sour. Right. They're fine as a jelly sweet. Really disappointing if you wanted a sour sweet. I don't like sour sweet. Mm. We've experienced the weird jelly thing this week. I didn't tell you about it. Ooh. They feel funny. Oh. I thought you were gonna give it to me. Ooh. Mm. What an interesting texture. Do you know what? The melon flavour that hits you in like certain parts of eating it is nice. I like melon. But that is weird. Like, it tastes really melony, like really nice. I'm gonna give it another shot. Me too. It's just a sort of strange texture. I can't even describe what it's like. I don't think I've ever felt anything like that. It's weird. They were weird. It's like a cross between a foamy sweet and a jelly baby. It's got two textures as well. Mmm. Like. Ooh, these are fancy Ooh. pants. They come in miniature packets inside. The, uh, the strawberry ones we had, they're little fingers as well. Oh. They're not even like... Very fancy pants. Thank Finger. you. Mmm. It tastes like mm. a mint arrow and Kit Kaffel. Yeah, I love mint arrow. Me too. Yeah. So those are the sweets we got. We didn't get loads, but we were like, let's get some sweets. So, sweets. Yeah, we just went to Donkey to get some um, like souvenirs and stuff for it's like friends and family and work colleagues who don't know Don Quixote is like a massive like chain of like cheapo stores I guess um, it's not like a pound shop or anything like that but they sell like everything from like souvenir socks to sweets to luggage to beauty products to electrical products yeah. it's absolutely everything it's like pound one of those shops like Poundland Wilkinson something like that but like mm. on heat like yeah. it is it's, it's like cramped it's yeah. like crammed in um but they're everywhere i would definitely recommend if you're coming to tokyo uh to go to john quixote especially for your for your souvenir you know the sweets that you buy your work colleagues so yeah do you want to just explain where we are and what we're doing it's called king bari um it is a sushi restaurant it's conveyor belt sushi but not as we know because you order it and it comes zipping down here like a bear belt. That's what we got. We've got an iPad basically. You just select what you want, so you get your gear. You got your rolls, you got your drinks, food. You can just search by price as well, which is really good if you just wanted it to be dirt cheap. Recommended. Then everything also just in Japanese on the side. So it's really good. The most expensive thing is the drinks as well. So it's not that bad, but you come down to it. Most dishes are about a pound, one pound fifty. What have we got here? How do we work? So you just order at the end of the meal, we'll go and do that. We've got like a matcha. <laughs> Be to make I think a match of tea is anything. Um, so you've got like hot water here and it's like, oh we've just got so the order. Just, so this is my order. order. This is Emma's order. Can you take that? Yeah. So we've got grilled salmon. Salmon. 
assorted tuna. Press the red button after picking up the item. Mm. So we've got the seared salmon, seared tuna, assorted raw tuna and cucumber. So what have you got? Fatty tuna. And fatty salmon. Fatty salmon, assorted prawns, and the meat roll. Mm. So I'm going to order a drink because I didn't order one before. I'm going to go alcoholic and then go go for a lemon salad. Mm. And then we've got lean tuna, medium fat tuna, and albacore tuna, which I think is a really fatty one. So the albacore is in the middle. Of the you know what's what? Do we think that that's like lean, lean fatty, and albacore? Fatty albacore. Yeah. Okay, which one do you want to try? I want. Do you want to try that one, and I'll try this one. Sure. Literally fell apart. So nice. That just dissolved in my mouth. How tunery was your tuna? Mine wasn't that fishy. No, no, not at all. It you just dissolved. Did you enjoy your first round? I definitely did. And one massive lead. Massive, massive thing to me is the prices are just right. Like, I mean, not just right, but they're bottomed down. So, let's say you went to um, and bought the tuna. The tuna's like three or four pounds for two pieces. Here, it's as little as about 90p for two pieces. So, so these are three different prices. 120 is less than a pound. 180 is about. One pound forty and two twenty is about one pound seventy, one eighty. So all of these are two pounds one twenty. Salmon, grilled salmon, tuna, mackerel, squid, octopus, shrimps, eggs, this stuff. One eighty, premium tuna, marinated tuna, salmon made. salmon because it was amazing. We got some soybean curd. We got some, um, sorry, soybean curd like wraps. We got some duck. We got some like tuna maki, maki. Um, some salmon with mayo. Some boiled shrimp. And some egg. <laughs> What's your favourite so far? I'm not sure. <laughs> We've had so much already. We're yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me check them so 13 plates in, including two drinks. And I can't remember most of them. <laughs> I guess it's all just because we've had a lot of salmon. I would say mine so far is the fatty salmon, but I did also like the fatty tuna. Yeah. What are you going to try next? I'm going to try the egg boy. So it's been getting a little bit of. Um, Soy as I've been dripping it. Mm. Yeah. What you got now? Like a crab salad or something? I oh, want my own piece. Mm. The California one. So yeah, this was called like crab salad. It's like crab mayonnaise. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so full of sushi. <clears throat> I'm we, so full. We had 19 dishes and it cost us less than 40 pounds though. Yeah, so. such good value. And everything was like amazing. Like the best yeah. sushi I have ever had, ever, ever. Yeah. It was good sushi. Yeah, it was incredible. Definitely go.